I never, since we started from the get-go, I just never got comfortable spraying um, herbicides, either contact herbicides like Roundup, pre-emergent herbicides, uh, which I still have a hard time uh, feeling comfortable with. So I've just never felt comfortable comfortable enough with them to actually spray them on the vineyard. Um, it gets a little complicated in in the Northeast, especially in marginal areas with where we're always getting winter damage and we're constantly replacing vines, sometimes up to 10% a year. So you have mature vines and you have young vines and to try and figure out how to how to manage weeds chemically in a complicated multi-year vineyard is a little bit beyond me and what I can what I can figure out and do effectively. The other thing is um, the window where you can spray a lot of these things is very very short here. I mean, we go from frozen ground to spring. It seems like in a week. So to have all your, all your act together and everything together to do it where the weather is right, um, it's actually beyond me. And I, I've never felt comfortable for, for that reason. I just never had everything together, not comfortable with the chemistry. And from the get-go with things like Roundup and things like that, even though they profess to be fairly safe back in the day, they still have soil activity. So they still do hit the soil and they do have an effect on the soil. And that's something that uh, never gets discussed much, but it, it does happen. Um, and it's, again, it gets, once you start doing that and you start screwing with soil, things get really complicated. You really don't know what you're killing, what you're promoting. So for me, it's best just to muddle along like the way we're doing it. It's not as pretty as a lot of vineyards, but I have no problem walking here barefoot and I wouldn't mind if people with their pets and kids walked barefoot, um, aside from the brambles and the poison ivy. But the soils are, are very, very healthy. We're very proud of that. Um, grapes aren't very competitive. They don't necessarily like a lot of competition like uh, a sod or, or some weeds. Grapes like to be underneath the trees uh, where there's not a whole lot of competition for, with weeds. So you gotta give them a, a, a kind of a running start, keep the weeds down as best you can. But it's a, just the weeds would be a full-time job. It's a, it's a lot to do. Um, and you can't wait for nice weather. You gotta do it when it's hot and when it's cold. But you know, it's just one of the things you have to do.